This is Nigeria, often referred to as the giant of Africa. Due to its large economy that's worth more than $500 billion and $1 trillion in terms of nominal GDP and purchasing power parity, respectively, the Nigerian population has an estimate of 190 million people. Nigeria is a federal republic in West Africa comprising 36 states and a federal capital territory. Nigerians move from one place to another utilizing one or a combination of the various modes of transportation namely road, air, water and rail. Transportation involves the movement of goods and services from the place of production to the place of consumption. It is the major link between producers and consumers. Brands often use trucks and trailers to transport goods and services to various locations by the road mode because of its ability to get to the doorstep of end users. Unsurprisingly, it accounts for about 90% contribution to the transportation subsector. With the largest road network in West Africa consisting of about 195,000 kilometers linking Benin Republic to the west, Chad and Cameroon to the east, Niger to the north, it is worrisome that Nigeria's road network is poorly maintained and often cited as the major cause for the country's high rate of fatalities. Considering the volume of transport activities in Nigeria, one can categorically say that transport services have an immeasurable impact in the business environment and international trade. Undoubtedly, trucks, in other words, trailers and tankers, are crucial to the economic growth of the nation. Most communities rely on these vehicles for the transportation of products to cities and vice versa. In 2014 alone, over 84,951,921 tons of cargo, excluding oil terminals, were generated and between 2015 to 2016, about 2,869,975 cargo were generated with a greater percentage being moved by trucks on our roads. The poor state of transport infrastructure is due to a combination of factors including inadequate investments, poor maintenance and so on, which has made road transportation in Nigeria hazardous to life and property. A monthly road traffic crash RTC report released by the Federal Road Safety Corps estimate Nigeria lost a total of 423 persons to road accidents in the month of July 2017, out of which 295 or 70% were male adults. This represents an average of 9 male adult deaths daily across the country in July 2017. In 2015, there were 9,734 accidents of which 2,854 were fatal, with 35,918 casualties. Out of the casualties, 5,440 were killed and 30,478 sustained injuries. According to the FRSC safety requirements or guidelines for articulated lorries operation in Nigeria, long journey driving drivers shall observe at least a 30 minutes rest on every 4 hours journey covered. And for any journey time beyond 6 hours will require auxiliary driver who should have the same driving status as the main driver. Truck drivers face challenges that cause fatigue and also loss of cargoes during transit which serves as an economic loss directly to the owners and to the economy as a whole. 
Observers have pointed out that millions of Naira every year is lost through pilfering, accidents and attack on drivers where lorries are parked in unsecured locations. We know there is a danger of parking along the road but there is no alternative because there is no garage to park. They are parking on the wayside simply because we don't have a motor park here. At this point there is a garage. When you enter, you enter to the garage. And uh, from there you can find gold mechanic and uh, whatever you can eat. I am going to tell you that 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 However, to correct or prevent such losses, it is a major mandate of the Nigerian Shippers Council to contribute optimally towards the economic development of the nation. It is in light of this that the council conceived the development of truck transit parks, also known as TTP, as a panacea for ensuring safety and security of lives and cargo in transit. Problems produce opportunities. The Truck Transit Parks project provides great opportunities for investors to leverage on. It is a precious gemstone for truck drivers to conveniently park their vehicles, get accommodation, fuel, food, drinks, restrooms, clinics with residents, doctors, police posts, financial services and other basic supply like oil and spare parts as well as servicing of their vehicles. The projected capital expenditure for the development of each TTP will cost roughly 4.8 billion Naira. The TTP financial model guarantees a significant return on investment at the different locations. In the first phase of implementation, TTPs shall be developed in nine locations across the country, namely Lokoja, Kogi State, Oboloafo, Enugu State, Jeba, Kwara State, Ore, Ondo State, Ogere, Ogun State, Portnovo Creek, Lagos State, Onicha, Anambra State, Mararaban Jos, Kaduna State, Ilela, Sokoto State. Other locations will be identified from time to time. The Truck Transit Park Business Financial Model evaluates the economic viability of the project and strongly indicates that the project is worthwhile under different financing options. When fully operational, TTPs will provide safety, security, easy tracking of cargoes, convenient parking space, constant power supply and maintenance workshops of trucks including availability of truck spare parts along the transport chain which are also available for buses and small vehicles. Also, TTP will create employment opportunities, wealth for the people through the development of ancillary businesses around the location and improved internally generated revenue for the state government. It was estimated that not less than 25,000 job opportunities will be created across nine states. DTPs will offer cargo owners the means to monitor the movement of cargoes through a cargo tracking system, increased income generated through improved trade relationship with landlocked neighboring countries such as Niger, whose cargoes are currently moved through Nigerian roads, attract private innovation and capital for infrastructure and service delivery. Therefore, the economic case for the implementation of this project cannot be overemphasized. Government has adopted the option of public-private partnership PPP to address the infrastructure deficit in the transport sector. To stimulate economic activities and industrial development, the government will need to create an avenue that can allow Nigeria to fulfill her primary international obligation under the IMO United Nations Charter as it relates to shipment and transshipment for landlocked countries. This will improve the transportation infrastructure and also facilitate trade in the various geo-economic zones through the development of inland dry port and container freight stations. It was a call that needed to be made in the ultimate interest of, of safety of lives and we, we are determined to deal with the road rehabilitation program. Nigerian Shippers Council has also signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU 
with the Federal Road Safety Commission for strict enforcement of traffic laws and utilization of the facilities at the proposed parks. An implementation committee has already been constituted for a smooth implementation of the MOU. As you know, 90% of the goods coming to Nigeria are distributed by road. So it is important we have not only the good road as an infrastructure, but we should have supporting uh, facilities like the truck transit path to ensure smooth delivery. In conclusion, the Truck Transit Parks project will ensure that free flow of traffic along the busy corridors of Nigerian roads, reduction in cargo loss due to accident, optimal safety and security within the designated parks. Another project being promoted by the Council is the inland dry ports and container freight stations, all aimed to facilitate the diversification of Nigerian economy by reducing the dependence on oil and revitalizing the agricultural sector. Prospective investors are assured of full backing of appropriate legislation and enforcement by relevant government agencies in order to guarantee timely return on investment. <laughs>